The two-day Tattersall's February sale ended with a strong second session, which resulted in an excellent 85% overall clearance rate, characterised by high international demand from buyers hailing from more than 20 different countries. The sale topping lot was one of 36 sold from a strong Godolphin consignment across the two days. Magic Illusion, a lightly raced three-year-old gelding by Dubawi, headlined the draft when secured by ex-jockey Ted Durkin of Durkin Bloodstock in partnership with Dubai-based trainer Satish Sumar for 105,000 guineas. The progressive gelding, who hails from the family of Group 1 winners Dank, Eagle Mountain and Sulk, is a half-brother to Goldtown, who was placed in the UAE 2000 guineas at Maidan, a destination Magic Illusion could also be heading for come next year's carnival. He's been bought on behalf of Ebsi Tish Seymour and his future lies out in the Emirates. Obviously the Ebsi season is, is almost over out there, but he's, he's a horse that we thought has got a, like a huge you know, future and I think Tish has got like next year like in mind with this horse. He's, he's a scopy horse, slightly weak still, so he won't be in any hurry and, and hopefully he'll be ready like, to rock and roll um, like in the autumn like of next year. You know, he was an obvious one like to have a eye on. He was expensive, but look, we hope that his horse... They were the future, so we were happy to spend that. It was another Godolphin consigned son of Dubawi that caught the eye for the same connections later in the day, with Dirk and Bloodstock and Satish Sumar also signing for lot 379, Record Man, for 65,000 guineas, with similar Dubai based aspirations for the lightly raced Colt. Another unexposed Colt to prove popular on the day was lot 362, Runnymede, a recent winner in France for Henri Devin who sold to Harold Schneider, the German-based racing manager of Stuhl Salzburg, for 75,000 guineas. The Judmont Farms, bred and consigned son of Dan Silly, is a brother to listed winner and Group 2 plays Stipulate and counts on Group 1 winner All at Sea as his third dam. He's set to join Munich-based trainer Sarah Steinberg. We have a, a racing company. My owner is a big owner in Germany. I, uh, first of all, he, we uh, like the way he won. This race at uh, France, uh, this maiden race, very impressive. Obviously, we looked uh, for a training partner for a promising three-year-old colt. A good, good trainer in, in France, Henri Devin. Um, I'm sure he's not a hard trainer. And looking forward to, to, uh, to learn about, more about him. And, and it's exciting for us. Also set to clock up the air miles in the near future is Lot 370, Originaire, who is California-bound, having been bought by Mia Lloyd Bloodstock for 70,000 guineas. Consigned by William Haggis's Somerville Lodge, for whom he won a Chelmsford novice last month, the Zoffany son of listed winner Polly Perkins is a half-brother to Group 3 Anglesey winner Final Frontier and was signed for by Jamie Lloyd. Well, we're delighted to get him. Uh, I didn't think we would get him for that kind of money. I uh, selected him with my business partner, David Mio in California. He just, you know, relatively lightly raced, very progressive, and still has all his conditions for California, so he just he ticked a lot of boxes, and we're, we're very happy to have got him. Plan is to go to California for a new client, uh, trainer yet to be decided, but he will head to the West Coast. We looked at a few, yeah, we, there, were, there were probably a few more racing interests for us than normal. We looked at four or five, but uh, we just homed in on this one in the end, so we're more than lucky to have got him, because that never works out, so we're very happy. The highest priced filly at the sale was lot 280, War No More, a warfront filly out of 1,000 guineas third moth, who was sold by Ed Walker Racing for 60,000 guineas. The once placed filly, who raced in the colours of His Highness Sheikh Mohammed bin Khalifa Al Thani, was signed for by Mike Spence. Well, it's quite hard to buy one of those families, it's a good family. Um, she's the first fold, the dam's obviously third in the 1,000 guineas, so just trying to buy into a nice family. It's quite a few bullets coming from behind, there's like a three-year-old in Japan and a two-year-old and a yearling as well by Warfront, so hopefully she'll make a nice broodmare prospect and then the plan is that the family will then keep continue to grow below her. So She'll go straight back into training, she's four, so she hasn't, uh, well she's obviously got time on her side, but in terms of racing and getting in foals, so she's going training with Roger Berry and uh, today, tomorrow, and then try and win a race as quick as we can, really. And she's, she's, I think she's off a fair mark of 63, and then we'll just do our best to win a race as quickly as possible, and then that'll be it. After a buoyant final day of trade, Tattersall's marketing director, Jimmy George, gave his assessment of the two-day sale. Overall, it's actually been a very satisfactory Tattersall's February sale. I, I guess the only... The only downside is last year's sale was outlandishly good. We had an extraordinary catalogue last year. We had a 1.9 million guineas sale topper in Willie John and 
five lots in total, if, if I recall it rightly, making 500,000 guineas or more. So you know, as the, as the final curtain comes down on a sale like that, that you're not going to match it the following year. But within that context, this was a, this was a decent sale and a very, very international uh, collection of buyers here for the last two days, a clearance rate on day two of 95%. Overall, the sale had a clearance rate of 85%, which bettered last year's record-breaking sale. There's a lot of positives out there, and uh, now overall, a, a decent start to the Tattersall's sales season of 2019. It's great to see such a diverse bunch of international buyers, and that was very much the feature of the sale. A relatively small sale numerically, and we had buyers from more than 20 different countries. In particular, um, a, a very enthusiastic uh, buyer bench from the stands, as Uzbekistan, Kazakhstan, Kyrgyzstan. It's great to see those markets opening up and uh, the Uzbeki team were very active at the December sale. They bought a stallion and some breeding stock and they've they've followed up again today. Yeah, a real positive and, and it's so often the feature of these sort of sales at Tadassals and it's what sets them apart. One of the things that attracts the international buyers in such numbers is the great support we receive from the major owner breeders, particularly Godolphin, Judmont, Shadwell, and their consignments again were hugely popular over the last couple of days. Overall, we have to concede that it was a slightly less distinguished catalogue than, than last year's extraordinary February catalogue, but the sale has still attracted a hugely diverse buyer bench and uh, it's the third highest turnover for the February sale ever.